that I could do better. I knew that I would, I was meant for better. I, I'm not meant to stay in the car. That's not how I grew up. That's not how I want my daughter to grow up. I don't want my daughter to know just living in a car or just living out on the street because that is not life. Just think by myself, I had another head here, you know, to, to help me think and to come up with, you know, different, you know, ways to, you know, get out of my situation. And I believe maybe the third time we went to go shower, she told me about uh, the rapid rehousing program. I had to fill out the paperwork. I had to give all our documentation to make sure that we qualified. Um, we had to get a letter um, stating that we were actually homeless. So Miss Heather, you know, provided us with that. It was just like everything was just moving faster and that gave me hope. My goal was to keep it that way. So to keep moving forward, I didn't want to go back. I see things moving forward. I'm gonna keep them that way. But we got the apartment and I cried that day too. <laughs> I cried that day too because it just felt like my storm was over. Like I couldn't finally see my rainbow, my sunshine. It felt great. On Mondays, we go back to the car park that we originated from and um, we help serve uh, dinners there. We talk to the families there. Um, my daughter loves playing with all the children. Some are new, some she's seen before. And we just let them know like, this is not it. This is not the last step. This is just a bump in the road that you just have to cross. And right now, this is a safe place for you to be. And you know, everyone's here to help you. No one wants to be homeless. No one wants to not have any food or not have any money or not have any peace of mind. Because like I said, living on the street, you have no peace of mind. You have to constantly be alert and on watch around you and safe from not only people, but from the environment. 